Hi there, I am Izzy Souza, painter and it master, and Sense Labs artist. Um, it's hard to say in my case because I have lived in different countries through the years and I have just moved to England. And wherever I have been, I have encountered amazing people um, whom I've learned a lot from and whom I can call family and friends across these different places. And I also had lots of beautiful experiences as well as hard ones. So for me, home is where I am happy at the moment. That has been nearly 20 years across different industries. For the past decade or so, I've been using purely digital. Actually, I, I think for clients' works and employers, I have always used digital. And yeah, sometimes occasionally I will do some traditional drawings or paintings, but that's very rare and hardly ever have any time for these. I wish I actually had more time um, to do more traditional or analog. <laughs> oh my goodness, I hate procrastination. I don't even like the word. I personally prefer to have things done earlier, but sometimes it's not possible. So I will tend to be a mix of doing things early and also being deadline driven. Personally, I'm an early bird kind of person, um, but if my employer or my freelance clients need me to be on a certain occasion, like a night owl, then I will be so. And I have done that through the years. Well, that would be, don't take any art shortcuts, always take the long run. That will help you to learn so much better. It will seem like you go slow at first, but to be honest, you will be going at a faster pace than those who are doing um, it quickly. It just doesn't show when you start doing it. Um, also, don't let other people's opinions about your art dictate what you are capable of doing and on, and interfere on what you believe is right for you. And last but not least, live one day at a time. I love gothic music, um, dark wave, also some types of metal, um, cheesy hard rock, um, alternative um, rock music, electronic and some stuff like that. So. I'm always listening to music while working, so lots of tunes. I would be a bird of prey, like an eagle, or an harpy, or a hawk. Well, I don't... Um, always when I hear this question, my answer is like nothing. I never had the opportunity to do any higher education studies um, due to the circumstances that I grew up with. So I hope that someday I will still have that opportunity. If I could, I would uh, study deeper stuff into art as well as perhaps psychology. I take nutrition very seriously because I have lots of intolerance and allergies and also because I know that having good nutrition is a very important foundation for having a good brain, you know, having um, the creative juices flowing well. So my power snacks are more like um, lactose-free natural yogurt with seeds like chia, uh, sunflower and lean seeds also some gluten-free tray teas and a cup of tea or a decaf. That would be my industry colleagues, um, the students I have had through the years, also fam uh, family, 
friends and my team. And last but not least, lots of classical painters. Um, I have this obsession or particular interest in portraits and I like doing, doing them in a way where they can be a little bit alive. And I get lots of feedback from people, from clients, telling me that my characters and portraits, they feel very living for them. What project are you most proud of? Oh my goodness, this is very ironic because the most important project of my career, I cannot talk about it. Um, it's a big product that's used by the CG industry and I have a secret room. I can't talk anything about it. I just wish I could, but I can't. So my greatest work, the work I am most proud of is a secret. <laughs> Well, Sense Labs Medium Bundle changed my life because um, for years I never really liked having to draw and paint and with the same hand press buttons on the sides of my previous tablets. That always felt very odd for me. With Sense Labs, not only we have the amazing ergometric uh, design of the tablet and everything in the bundle, and, but also it's very effective to use the shortcuts remote control buttons, the dino, with the left hand, while you have the right hand just free to paint and do what it does best. For example, when I'm doing art direction, that I take a look at my team's artworks and I need to do annotations. So I use the dial a lot to zoom in and out uh, in the artwork and do the annotations at the same time, so I work with both hands and it's a very dynamic, um, very dynamic thing. And also when painting or drawing or doing video editing or any other stuff, photo bashing or any other stuff like that, it's really really handy to just be able to use all the shortcuts for the different software. You can, for example, switch between the softwares and then have different shortcuts. So that that's very uh, very useful, very handy. Yeah. <laughs>